Hello makers. Here we are again with another exciting coding challenge for you guys in which we are going to make a sprite and move it in a triangle shape forever. Before starting let me tell you a very interesting fact about triangle. You must have seen the supporting structure in bridges that are triangle shaped and there is a very specific reason behind this. It's because whenever you apply a force on a triangle shape it would never flatten out. Whereas if you apply a force on any other geometry like a rectangle it would flatten out and the bridge can collapse. So that is the reason that we use triangle shaped supporting structure in all the construction works. But before starting let's just try to frame the algorithm for this challenge. From the output we can clearly see that the sprite starts its journey from the origin and after moving four steps the sprite takes a turn in the left direction by 135 degrees after taking the turn it again moves for two more steps and reaches the center of the led matrix now from this position it takes a 90 degree turn in the left direction and moves for two more steps finally after it reaches the origin it takes one final turn in the left direction by 135 degrees and this process repeats forever to frame this algorithm let's quickly open our avishkar makerboard simulator open your web browser and write avishkar.cc/ams and hit enter it's asking you to register yourself so you can register by any means but i find it really easy to register with a google account so i'm going to click on continue with google and select my google account So here we are in the simulator. This is the coding area where we are going to communicate with our maker board. So let's frame our algorithm in the form of code. Drag out a my program block from the control context, which is the starting point in every code. Now go to sprite context and click on the create sprite button. It's asking you to name the sprite. So let's name it as my sprite. Now, drag out this draw sprite block and place it in the my program block. Select the color as red, brightness as 80, and let the position be the same initially. To move the sprite by 4 steps, drag out the move sprite block from the sprite context. and insert this block within a count with loop specify the limits of the loop from 1 to 4 by 1 so that this command gets repeated four times also declare the loop variable i at the beginning of the program now insert a time block so that the sprite moves every step at an interval of 500 milliseconds okay let's try to simulate it and see if we are able to move four steps or not okay so this looks good now after moving four steps the sprite needs to make a turn in the left direction by 135 degrees so drag out a turn sprite block and specify the direction as left and angle as 135 degrees and place this block just below the count with loop now we need to replicate this process for the other positions as well so copy the above created count with loop and change the limits of the loop from 1 to 2 by 1 so that this loop gets executed twice and we see the sprite moving two steps Now place another turn sprite block below this loop so that the sprite turns in the left direction by 90 degrees. Now repeat this process again so that the sprite moves two more steps and it reaches the origin. And then takes a 135 degree turn in the left direction. Let's try to simulate this and see if this works or not. Now 
great it looks good now the only thing we need to do is to repeat this whole process over and over and for that let's insert this code in a repeat while loop my god that was one big code and simulate it congratulations you just solved the coding challenge happy making